This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Please make it Halloween, end. Halloween. So, Noob Noob, I believe you have a statement you would like to make. Uh, I've had a lot of a lot of time to decompress, and I would say after I saw this movie, Halloween Ends, I had a homicidal rage burning inside me. <laughs> you wanted to become the next Michael Myers? I was probably more lethal than Michael Myers in Halloween Ends. Jason X. Mm, that was a good one. Jason X was better than Halloween Ends. Jason X is better than Jason Halloween Jason X was better than Halloween Ends. I'm trying you mean to think. the part where he picks up? The co-eds in sleeping bags and bashes the. I like, don't, isn't that like a uh, like a danger room or like a holodeck? I forget, but it doesn't matter. Still it sounds better. better. It sounds better, and I more agree. true to the character. More true. <laughs> so yeah, Halloween Ends was one of the most disappointing movies I've ever seen in my life. Sweet Christ, I hated that fucking movie, and I want to. I know like three people are gonna listen to this, but please, if you listen to this and you like Halloween Ends logically explain to me in the details why in God's fucking green earth you like this piece of shit movie because I will then back search your IP address find you and come beat you with a bag what if they have a really good argument they please no one's gonna have a good argument in the comments below Noob Noob is challenging you because he went on an internet rampage where he was challenging every single person online who liked the movie to a Word fight, I guess. I just kept saying, like, I kept fight. asking people to explain why they like it, and then everyone's like, people can like it. I'm like, it's why? Tell me why you fucking like it. They just say people can like it? Yeah, they're like, oh, well, you, I don't want to bash people's opinion. I'm like, oh, that's fine. Just tell me why you're liking it. Oh, so they're just the kind of reviewers who just like everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then some guy's trying to bait us. He's like, you know, me and this other guy really like this movie, but you should listen to the podcast oh, we're releasing. Why? I'm like, fuck you. Why don't you just tell me your stupid why? reasons? Fucking pricks. Well, I don't know, because I, I didn't watch any of them, because I don't care, because I think they're all crap. Uh, they were amazing. This was my mm. favorite horror franchise of all time, and then they shit on it. You don't even like Halloween And then pissed three. on it, then threw gasoline on it, and then, I don't know, Joe Biden ate it or something. I'm not don't sure. Don't you not like Halloween 3? Uh, Season of the Witch? Mm-hmm. It's going to be tough. I might have to watch Season of the Witch. You've and never then seen it. See, I have seen it, but I don't remember it enough. Oh, okay. Other than there's that toy factory, right? How many Halloweens are there? Uh, shit, there's like 13. There's what? Halloween 1, 2, Season of the Witch, Halloween Resurrection, Halloween The Return of Michael Myers, Halloween 6, The Revenge of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O. You know H2O made more than the entire series if you take out like one of the Rob Zombie movies. Really? Yeah. H2O was big, didn't it? Did it have Coolio in it? It did. And Jamie Lee. Yeah, well, it was 20 years later. Yeah. Halloween 20 years later. Then this. H2O. And then they had Halloween Fuck. Resurrection with Exhibit. That was oh, rough. Oh, my gosh. That was rough. But again, I thought that was bad. And then th- that's a masterpiece compared to Halloween Ends. <laughs> a well, fucking masterpiece. Why don't we go through some of the evidence and see what the people are saying out there? Aside from your. Would you consider yourself a Halloween expert? Uh, expert? I don't know. Expert? Like, I've watched the original. Can like, you tell me, like, who's related to who and how many Related? What do you boobies? mean? There's not that many relations yeah, in this. Isn't it, like, uh, aren't people related to each sort other? Sort of. Like, I can give you the callbacks Is he supposed and to be his sister, and... but that's not real? No, that was the Rob Zombie thing. Okay. Yeah. And he just made his own thing. He up. just kind of made it. Like, why is Michael Myers attacking Laurie Strode? Like, because they're related. Because yeah. All right. Well, let's look at the first Halloween. And no, no, no. This is Halloween two, technically. Whatever the 2018 one, because we're only talking about this one franchise. Because correct, like this one trilogy, right? It's a trilogy. Uh, if you're looking at it in totality, it's four movies. But this was a trilogy. Four movies. Halloween one. No, that doesn't count. This was a direct sequel to Halloween I don't one. Care. Forty years later, it doesn't matter. Okay. No. That's fine. Look at this then. Yeah, Halloween. Don't, don't, I'm only talking about this new garbage trilogy. No, no, no. This 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 movie was amazing trash absolutely amazing it's so amazing that the critics gave it a 79 percent and the audience gave it a 71 percent with ten thousand plus reviews yes i wonder what it compares to the original halloween uh original halloween is probably in the 80s i would guess i mean i could look it up you could look it up that would take some work but so you do you like this movie uh oh my this one is fantastic it was every single thing i wanted there's several halloween there's a halloween 2007 halloween 1978 
pretty uh, simple to guess that. Donald Pleasance. 96 oh. and 89. Yeah, there you go. It's fucking brilliant. Okay. One of the original horror I classics. I mean, I'm a, huge, I'm a bigger John Carpenter fan than you are. Absolutely. I just, I just like, Halloween. like Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> I just like Halloween. Yeah, I don't like... That's the one movie I like, don't really care for. I'm like, yeah. eh, it's okay. Then Halloween, this is 40 years later. Brought, it's basically redoing Halloween 1978, update it, and mm-hmm. also like semi-sequally. Like it's, yeah, except it, he wears the mask in this one more, right? In the first one, he, he doesn't actually wear the mask that much. Uh, He's just not in it that he much. He wears like a... A sheet at one point chokes uh, a naked chick yeah. with a telephone cable. Yeah. I've seen that. He does. That's cool. Stabs a guy with glasses up up to the wall. Okay. So people like this one. This we was easily by far in the trilogy best. Made quite a bit of money. A plus. Made a lot of money. Everyone was excited because it brought back the franchise. I was like, this is going to be amazing when they announced that it's going to be a fucking trilogy. I was like, please give so me more. Excited. Don't stop making these. Don't stop believing. And then Halloween Kills came. Okay, let's look at that. Which critics did not like. I uh, heard was not good. It but wasn't. Again, I don't care. It depends. Now, it's a matter of perspective. Because after watching Halloween ends, I'm like, maybe Halloween Kills isn't so bad. It wasn't. Um, it get, it gets a little out of hand. I mean, a 66 is still. It doesn't kill like a hundred people in this. Yeah, it it goes. Like these three movies <laughs> could not be so fucking different tonally. Like it makes no. That's why I'm so annoyed. Like the, is it the same director? It's the same director, same writers. Danny McBride and David Gordon Green or something like that. Okay. Every single one of these movies is like tonally all over the place. They don't know what they're doing, but it's supposed to be a cohesive story. I'm like, please jump off a bridge. You suck. All right. Well, critic consensus is Halloween Kills should satisfy fans in search of a brute, of brute slasher thrills. But in terms of advancing the franchise, it's a bit less than the sum of its bloody parts. Uh, Audience says doesn't do to, to move the Michael Myers saga forward. But viewers looking for hardcore horror violence won't be disappointed. It's like, that's fair. It was definitely gory and unnecessarily violent compared to like every other movie. Uh, he goes on a murder spree. And it made just, almost half as much as the other movie. This also released simultaneously on Peacock. So that, that was okay. the issue. This was like oh, a COVID movie. COVID that's a release. big thing too, is they're blaming. It's not making as much money as it should have. It's underperforming in the box office. Halloween ends. Yeah. Only pulled, it's also on Peacock too. Pulled in 41 same million. day. Same day Peacock as okay, well. That was a bad move. Um Yeah, I don't know why they did that for this one. Bad move. But Anthony uh, Michael Hall was in this? Yeah, he plays Tommy, who is was, the older is the, version of the young kid in 1978. Isn't he original. the same Tommy? No. Anthony you Michael sure Hall. Sure about that? 100% positive. Are you? Everyone 100% positive. Everyone else was the original, but they couldn't get the they didn't want the original kid. Tommy in I think what was it Halloween The Return of Michael Myers was played by Paul Rudd it was his first on, on screen performance oh my gosh yeah when he was like 18 or 19 or something like that alright well let's go to the end I wish we didn't Halloween ends 39% critics audience score 57% should be, less. should be significantly less I mean it's not getting good word of mouth I don't it should have negative word of mouth no one should speak of it Halloween ends for now anyway with a frequently it's befuddling installment that stabbed, slashed, and beaten by a series of frustrating missed opportunities. I'll be curious to see what people have to say. I'm... Mm. Uh, let's see here. Read some positive ones. Halloween Ends thrives as a grounded, <laughs> grounded slice of life character drama before eventually becoming a Michael Myers sequel. I don't care about a slice of life drama. Uh, doesn't even do that. What? No? Okay. Huh? Uh, how about uh, sticking the landing was always going to be difficult with Halloween Ends because there are so many moving parts. Yeah, because it's such a confusing plot. But the film wraps up things to a rewarding extent in a manner befitting the duo's ambitious original vision. Who's the duo? Who are they talking about? Wait, say that again? Read that again? Sticking the landing was always going to be difficult with Halloween Ends because there are so many moving parts. Again, what plot are they talking about? I don't know. But the film wraps things up to a rewarding extent in a manner befitting the duo's ambitious original version. Who the hell duo? Are Maybe the writing duo, Danny McBride and David Gordon There's Green? There's three people who wrote this, so that's not a duo. Then I'm not sure. While it can't quite stick at a messy landing, the ambitious and well-crafted Halloween Ends is a mm-hmm. solid and gory reflection I want of Michael to Myers. punch that man in the face. Possibly the <laughs> uterus. How about this one? More annoying and depressing than scary. Uh, yep. 
I was me and my mom were visibly getting angry while this movie was she happening. She cares about this movie at all. Oh my we were both looking at each other like what the fuck are we watching? Like are we I I wanted to get up and leave the theater. It was wow. that bad. You almost walked out. Yeah, it was pretty fucking close. Yes, and then it's I yelled, really over after a lackluster second film. This one feels like a nice wrap up, but certainly not a perfect movie. Uh, no, none of that. I actually had to yell at Nasty Mandy because he told me he saw it the day before. And I was like, oh, I'm seeing it tomorrow. What he should have said was, don't, don't waste it. your fucking movie. Save the good thoughts you have of Halloween and don't ruin it. <laughs> Remember Halloween for what it was. Yes. Halloween ends as one missed opportunity after another squandering everything great about 2018's uh, Halloween. The Strode women and audiences everywhere deserve better. Yep, I agree. Everyone deserves better than this movie. Despite its closing brawl, Halloween ends is There's definitely more of a whimper than a bang. Not much of a closing brawl, but sure. The entire marketing campaign is complete horseshit. So, spoiler alert. I don't know anything about this. Other than what I heard. Yep. I heard it was crap. Yes. And I heard that uh, Michael Myers is barely in it. Correct. He hides for most of the time. Uh huh. Doesn't kill anybody. Uh, not true. He does kill some people. Well, barely kills anybody. He barely kills people. He barely he can like kill people. People in the last one, he's barely killing anybody in this one. Yes. And that it's like a passing of the torch type movie. So they're gonna try to make like a new mm, something. Yeah. Sort of. Like a new kid. S add a kid. So There's a kid. Sort of. Okay. Gonna be a kid. Should I go into like a little bit of a... I don't care. I'm never gonna watch any of these. Uh, a cesspool of bad filmmaking decisions. The Michael Myers killing spree doesn't begin until nearly one hour into this horrific misfire. There's not enough Laurie Strode and too much of a dull romance between Laurie's granddaughter and an accused killer. That sounds like a good review, Carla Hay from Culture Mix. No, it's horrible. That's a bad review. No, 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 no. I mean, like, just the movie's horrible. She just said it's a cesspool of bad filmmaking decisions. Yes. Everything is, everything is horrible. Yeah. She says the Michael Myers killing spree doesn't begin until nearly one hour into this horrific misfire. There is no killing spree. Okay. Well, she clearly thought there was one. Like, people kill. In the 45-year history of Halloween, Halloween Ends is by far one of the worst movies in the franchise. Uh, it's not, yes. It's, uh, yes. It's not one of, it's, it's the, the worst. worst. Okay. It's the worst. And if you could give me a list of reasons why it's the worst, and we already said spoilers, so you yes. can go into Yes, okay. It. Well, the, the, big, the biggest, let me say the overarching one is tonally. First Halloween in 2018, perfect. Redoes the original movie while it's the sequel. That's good. He kills enough people... Kills babysitters, has a showdown at the end. Awesome. If you wanted to end that series right there, spoiler alert, he's burning to death in a house. Laurie Strode wins. You could cut that shit. It would go down as one of the greatest sequels ever made. They're like, now nah, we're going to make it a trilogy. Halloween kills. Same night. He is somehow survives a burning house. He breaks murders, out with all the firefighters. Murders right? an entire fire squad, which with uh, chainsaws and bats and rent everything they could have had. Murders them all. They had every weapon possible. Then continues to murder almost the entire town as the entire town becomes a flash mob to go murder him. So then they get him. Because of BLM? Uh, Sort of, actually, I think. I'm pretty um, sure that's what... Uh, it was right around the BLM thing. Yeah, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's what What's-Her-Face said. Who's the lead actress? Uh Oh, fuck, did she? Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis? Uh -huh. That bitch. So... He's basically, in this movie, an unstoppable killing machine. And she literally says the words, the more he kills, the more he transcends. Like, he just becomes some omnipresent okay. murder figure. So, oh, so he's becoming supernatural. Which he's never been. Never, he's just never. He's just been a super hard guy to kill. But Jason's been supernatural. Michael Myers has just been, like, a super naturally strong super guy. Super duper guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Super guy. Uh, to, the pa to the fact where he literally gets shot multiple times, stabbed in the neck, has his, like, neck broken... All in this movie to then get up and murder an entire town. Yeah, in the first one, he's just like a guy. Yes. Really and fucking hard to kill and survives things he shouldn't. Not really. But he's not in like some first supernatural force. I don't think he, in the original one, I don't think it's that tough. But no, no, I'm talking about in Halloween 2018. Okay. Like he, he's not some supernatural unkillable force. In this one, he is. So then the movie ends. This movie, four years later, no Michael, disappears... So then there's this opening scene of a kid that's like some nice young kid for whatever reason. He's Fresh babysitting. Young boy. This babysitter, uh, the, the kid's being a dick, locks him in a room. 
He breaks open the room. Kid falls to his death. And somehow, uh, that's it. That's the opening scene. Some kid falls to his death because the kid was an asshole. He deserved to die, first off. Super nice kid. Gets put in jail. Everyone hates him now. Blah, blah, blah. That's the accused killer thing you are talking mm-hmm. about. Yes. Just so, nothing to do with nothing. Nothing. It's setting him up as a sympathetic character. He was. Nothing was wrong with him. So then, fast forward, he gets thrown over a bridge, knocked out. Somebody grabs him, takes him into a sewer. Who takes him into the sewer? Michael fucking Myers. He wait, He breaks out of... A- prison no no no. the kid's been released it was like oh, he was a minor been, okay he was a minor so then he gets knocked out in a fight i'm fast forwarding and he starts getting drugged into a fucking sewer why is michael myers living in a sewer this is four years after so he's just been in haddonfield this is four years after four years later he's been in haddonfield did living he in break a f- out you told me he break he broke out of the the fire thing so, he did yeah so no he happened? kills everybody he gets away he but gets away he just decides to he decides to live in a mutant. sewer eating rats correct now when you're taking a kid into the sewer michael myers kills everyone correct he just brings him in there to not kill him so the kid wakes up like pennywise so the kid wakes up starts to leave so michael myers starts choking him then they have this weird transfer of sexual killing fetishes happening what he literally grabs his neck and then there's a flash of i don't know what it was killer juice somehow transfers his evil into this young kid okay. for no reason kid was good up until this He's point never had any powers like never this n- doesn't make any goddamn sense uh-huh. from never this point set up was it ever set up absolutely any, not any, okay no reason then from this fucking point everyone's like oh he's got the same look as uh, michael myers he's he's dead in his eyes where he just starts becoming michael myers michael myers had did, did, no one even knew what he, he was just like. some kid a that was like a, a, a he was a psychopath he can't transfer his powers or whatever. So then this guy starts fucking going around murdering people. Oh, l- let me let me rephrase. He goes into the sewer and is like, you know what, Michael Myers? I need your mask. And he just takes the fucking mask from Michael Myers. And he overpowers him. Overpowers he overpowers Michael Myers because he's a geriatric limping fuck okay. this entire movie. Uh huh. So then they start working together, killing people. Okay. Will they share the mask? Or uh, like- no. No, initially he's not wearing the mask. And then he initially says, I want to take it. And then he, he becomes Michael Myers. Okay. So I guess Michael Myers is like, you know what? I want my mask back. So, so he comes he back mad. at the very end, uh-huh. uh, takes the mask, and then immediately gets murdered. Okay. By who? Laurie Strode. Okay. There's like a two second showdown where he just gets his ass beat and then thrown into a fucking meat grinder. Oh, but what happened to the kid? He's dead. How did he die? Uh, Laurie Strode shot him because he's just a fucking kid. Okay, so Laurie Strode is a multi-murderer, basically. As well. He was trying. She was trying to murder Laurie Strode, uh, so he shoots him, or she shoots him. He falls, and they have this whole long soliloquy, and like blah 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 blah. So and it then there's a lot of talking. In this. There's a lot of talking. Oh, th- so that's the Michael Myers part. Are of there this. any sitting down, eating lunches or dinners? No. Together? So this, that's the Michael Myers part of this. That's like 40, maybe 30% of this movie. Okay. 75% of this movie is a love story between the crazy Michael Myers kid and the girl from the, the original two. Okay. It's a love story. This movie's a love story. Okay. With and a geriatric sewer dweller. Okay. It's fucking retarded. Please explain to me how this is a good movie and how does it even make logical sense? Halloween Kills makes him a fucking supernatural, unkillable force. Four years later, he's in a sewer, can barely fight off one little kid. I don't how understand. How old's a kid? Uh, I think he's supposed to be like 20, 21. Okay. It doesn't matter. Michael Myers in four years ago literally was killed like 25 people. Uh huh. Yeah. And then like four years later, he he's like, you know like what? A whole mob of people, right? Arthritis, man. Kicking in, can't do anything. Makes Living no in sewers. sense. Why? Why are you transferring your evil powers through a choking fetish? Why is that a thing? Why does a that good, was from Jason? Why does a good kid that has really no? He wasn't evil like Michael. He didn't kill anyone on purpose. He had an accident happen that fucked up his life. And then he becomes an he becomes a dead cold killer, with no reasoning. I, I, not, none of it made any sense. Is there any payoff or setup? No. You sure you're, you're not? Are you not reading far enough into this? What am I supposed to be reading into it? Was he a capitalist or was he a communist? What? They don't. They don't go into that. I don't think so. I, mean, I might have blacked that out. Was he? Was he a member of like? Did he carry a tiki torch or oh something? Oh God, like no! That? Did he? Uh, I don't was, know. Was that supposed to be a symbolism in this? It could be. Why were there tiki torches? No. In the second one, were there tiki torches? No. You sure? No. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> no, I'm all. questioning everything. 
Yeah, maybe you just didn't get the symbolism. I just need someone to explain to me why any of these decisions in this movie made sense and why anyone would view them positively. He was trying to subvert expectations. With me, you shouldn't. You could literally put on the Teletubbies and I'd be like, that's a better Halloween movie than what, what I What if you took Halloween out of it? Would it be a good movie? No. Would it just be, was it boring? Uh, It was very boring. It was a love story for like fucking most of the movie. Uh-huh. Why were they in so love? Like flirting There's no reason for them to be in love. She like meets him. She's like, I want to leave my entire family in life for you. Oh my gosh. I love you. It's weird. She's actually kind of hot. I like her, but like it just <laughs> it made no sense. Please, someone in the fuck, someone please listen to my rant and tell me why this movie is good. Well, I, I maybe need to you know. challenge the other podcast I, I need to, to know. A, uh, challenge them to a a, a, a critical. Duel. Everyone can have their own opinion, but whoever has the opinion that this movie is good is fucking retarded. Uh, Allison. Yes, I think she's pretty attractive. I'm gonna disagree with you, but sure. No, nah, she's pretty cute. Uh, okay. What's wrong with her? Her know. lowest rated movie is Halloween Kills. It should be this one. Uh, I don't think they've gotten there yet, but uh, I they hope will. so. Yeah. Oh, maybe Halloween Kills was 37%. Uh, nope, 39. They're both 39. They're both 39. This won't. Well, oh, most of the critics have, have weighed in. No, look how few critics weighed in. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know, man. It was just the one of the most disappointing. I wasn't expecting much, and I was still massively disappointed. Well, sounds like pretty typical for your life. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I don't care. So I'm glad you didn't enjoy it because everyone else who watched it should also not enjoy it. You just I keep bastardizing a, uh, a movie that should have probably just been one movie. Didn't need to be. Or you could have just made the 2018 one stop there. Would have been great. No. Would have been great. Would have had very fond memories. Mm. Kind of reminds me. Well, now, Hellraiser wasn't that disappointing. Now a Halloween movie with Exhibit is no longer the worst Halloween movie. I hope you're fucking happy. <laughs> did he pimp anyone's ride in that? I don't know, but he he did like a roundhouse kick to Michael Myers, and it didn't end well for him. Oh well, I thought he would have roundhouse his his head off. Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Fuck this movie. <laughs> anyway, catch our full-length audio podcast and full-length live stream. It's on Friday nights at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. You can also catch us on uh, Rumble and other places like that. You can catch the podcast itself is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places and more. Like, subscribe, share. Do all those things because if they don't, I believe Noob Noob will probably just do this. I will hold you down and force you to watch Halloween Ends <laughs> on a Loop. Well, I'm not in the room because I'll probably kill myself <laughs> if I have to watch it again. But I'll check in every couple hours. Maybe just tickle to make sure you. you're still watching. I will tickle and tar you with some feathers just to keep you awake and then put it on repeat again. Just keep it, keep it going. Yeah. Making that paper, baby. Gotta make it. Anyway, uh, that's all from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. To all of y'all at home, we love y'all, and we are on to the next one.